YouTube. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I got some personal things on my mind that I just thought I'd discuss. And I don't, you know, I don't know who it, who it is all going to touch or affect. Uh, but I think it's going to affect those more in my age bracket in their 40s, nearing 50 and older. <clears throat> so here anymore I just feel really scared about life uh, and and it's hard to put into words exactly I, I was trying to talk this out to myself earlier today and it's uh it's kind of hard to put into words so I hope it comes across correct or how I want um but the older I get, the more I see how uncertain things are, uh, how fast things change, our health, how quickly it changes. Once you, you know, hit a certain age, things just kind of happen. Um, my wife got the wonderful news of her having epilepsy about a year and a half almost two well, it's almost two years now that she get, that she has epilepsy that threw a big wrench into our comfort <laughs> into our plans into uh, everyday life you know it's not bad enough that you have to wake up every day and just worry about getting to and from work and worrying about work itself and worrying about paying your bills and you know worrying about your kids and worrying about your normal everyday things and then you wake up to something like having epilepsy out of nowhere you know uh, it's, it's stuff like that that throws a monkey wrench into your plans and into your lives and totally changes things you know, every day is a constant worry. Constantly. That's pretty much all I, all I think about all the time is my wife and her health and my health and that we're getting older and uh, we have two boys that are in their 20s and, you know, I wonder, you know, what's going to happen whenever my wife and I need help? Or one of us dies and the other one needs help or, or, or something something happens and we need help and I'm thinking you know I got two boys most of the time boys aren't good for that kind of stuff let's face it you know taking care of people is a woman thing mostly not that some guys don't but women are just so good at it and it's just like they're naturally born to do it you know I, I think you know, what if my wife were to die right now? Well, I still have a house payment and I have a second mortgage payment. Property taxes, house insurance, car insurance, electricity, etc., etc. I can't afford all that. So basically what goes through my mind is instantly I drop everything and do my best to get me a camper, a little old camper, and go set it up on some lot. And pay my fifty dollars a month for my lot fee, and that's just one thing. That's just one scenario. One thing that goes through my mind. Um, it is really a scary feeling, and, and it makes it to where you dwell on it, and you can't stop thinking about it, and it'll ruin your day. It'll ruin your week, your month, your year, your years. Uh, It's a really scary thought if you stop and just think about how quickly everything can change. You know, I sit here and I daydream about things and, and you know, I want a new computer and I want a new bicycle and I want a new home stereo and I want uh, a new Xbox when it comes out in 2020 and I want a new action camera and I want a new actual real camera and I want... You know, I want some, you know, I'd like to have some things again in my life, or, or some better things. Um, but my mentality, the way I am anymore, I can't even enjoy 
uh, thinking about those things because all I'm doing is concentrating and thinking about what's going to happen. Uh, any moment, my wife could uh, have a wreck. I mean, she drives. She drives to and from work to the store, whatever. And with epilepsy, who knows? I mean, she says that she can feel the feelings coming on. But who knows? Anything can happen while she's at work. She works restaurants. She's a manager. She could just have a seizure, fall down, bust her head open, and die. Anything can happen. And I think mostly about my wife because even though I have my ailments from my back to my shoulder, maybe, you know, a bum right hip and a bum knee, you know, I'm not perfect. Uh, epilepsy is a different uh, it's a different matter because that's something that just hits and it can hit whenever however and whatever <coughs> so I just have a lot on my mind and and I know I'm not the only one in the world that's uh, thinking these things and that uh, and that has all this going through my mind all the time I'm sure other people out there do out of the eight billion people on the planet but it's just really sad how we go from being a younger and happier for the most part I'm sure most of most of us uh, happier healthier just everything you don't really think of a lot of stuff and then all of a sudden things start clicking and it's like it's really scary life is scary enough I feel sorry for people in worser shape than we are. I feel sorry for older people who maybe are alone, sitting in their house all day long by themselves. I think of my mom before she died, and of course she was at her house alone. Didn't go see her enough. Man, it's just, it's a real... Uh, a depressing thing to even think about it's scary it's nauseating I mean it almost makes me sick just to think about all this stuff you know I can handle getting older I don't really want to honestly but I can handle getting older I just I, I can't handle the these scary aspects that are just starting to really come into my head and and I'm thinking about more it's really 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 a, a nerve-wracking you know I suffer from depression I've had depression since I was it probably started around when I was 25 when I hurt my back but it really kicked into full swing in 99 2010 didn't help and since 2010 it hadn't helped <laughs> uh, and so these these type of thoughts are bad and they're not good for people like me they're not good for anyone but boy it's rough and all these videos that you see me put out I try to be happy and and uh, and inspire people inspire myself uh, I try to be you know the mic that I want to be but deep inside I've got this you know this is what's inside of me and on a daily basis I wake up and I go to bed scared uh, hurt confused lost kind of feel hopeless so I just wanted to to kind of open up today on a little serious issue and and uh, maybe tell me your stories open up you know that's what my channel's for open up let me uh, let me hear what you have to say what you go through what you've been through uh, how you try to look at things and of course it don't always help you know we like to think our own experiences and 
opening up can help others. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. You never know. But I just wanted to touch base and just kind of open up here and be for real. Be Michael, not Mikey son. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoy my other videos. Like, share, subscribe, comment. All that good stuff. I do this all for free because I love doing it for myself. I love doing it for you. And, uh, yeah. So everybody, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. Even when you're feeling just a little bit down, scared, lonely, depressed. And it's a Monday. We'll see you guys later.